WBA as supervisor. Live up to the original. It's asking an awful. I tell you that the pleasure for me about this as Bo comes Holyfield with two overhand rights to start the fight. The George Foreman, a heavyweight championship fight. Bo, all the action so far, and there's a hard right. Bo should never try to waste that kind of energy on a fighter like Evander Holyfield, who recovers. He gets hurt, but he recovers too much. Bo came in looking. Like that, that you don't want that in a young fighter. Holyfield steps in with a left to the side of the head and a right to the chest. This Jesse Ferguson thing gave him a false sense of security. Oh, oh. We talk about clean living. He's eating a lot of lot more pork chops than Evander Holyfield. Bad ribs and everything. Notice, George, they use the end swell under both of those eyes between rounds. He removes first and then he retreating things up for a good right hand. Gab into the body to get this guy conscious of a body punch and he's a landed flush for Holyfield. And now Bo tries to show off his in dropping. Bo should just stick, stick, open up with the right hand later. That was Bo who abandoned his corner and listened to Emmanuel Stewart instead of George Benton and Lou Duvall. himself with this jail. There. Looking assertive in round three. We're getting to double up on the jab. Taking a left there and complaining to Mills Lane that Holyfield had tried to glove him in the eye. It is a bander who threw the Holyfield is the best combination fighter of the two. He's doing a lot of head hunting. Yeah. Right hand by Bo. And it hurt Holyfield. Now here's where Bo will complain of a thumb. Here comes the clowning I told you about. Holyfield starting to go to the body. Bo comes upstairs. Lance. What a, what a real Olympic champion. You just can't clown with certain guys. Left hook by Holyfield. So little with so much effort. Holyfield leaping in and taking a right to the body. When Evander leans in like this, he is susceptible to that uppercut. That's Gordon. right. That can, that's the bread and butter punch for Riddick Bowie, that uppercut. They trade leather at close quarter. Holyfield trying to remember to go to the bottom. Ten rounds left to start mixing it up with the big guy. You don't want to go shoulder to shoulder. That's a strategy you understand pretty well. Well, I think Riddick Bowie is anything but polished. He hasn't thrown one good straight right hand yet. So you and Larry have a disagreement here about yeah, those everything games. is under and on top and flat. If he throws a right hand, straight, straight right hand, he drops it he, down the hole of the field right now. Everything is slapped on side the jaw. Abrasion is beginning to emerge from Bo's left eye. Holyfield lands a right right on the target. And a left hand for Holyfield. And they swing and swing after the bell. And look at this. Well, this is either the end of the, this is either the end of the fourth round or the start of the fifth. Take your pick. I've never seen so many blows landed after a bell. Have you, George? Not many, and but most were all slapped. After that, became a less effective fighter as he tried to target the cut. Well, there he lands a right and do between round five. Yeah, with Muhammad Ali, I wasn't in shape, but I said, I can whip this old guy. Bro, maybe he's hurt. He is hurt. Bro, he's hurt. Holyfield gunning for a stoppage here. It would shock the world. Stunned Bo again. Field took his time before he carried the fight to Bo. Well, he's up. He hit, hit a lot of himself. Boom. Great combination by Holyfield. And another one. Bo standing still at 70 foot, and Futz was nowhere for him to see it. Hidden behind other figures over here. Holyfield banging away. Round six, a huge one for the Fulis. For all the difficulty he suffered true. at the hands of Frank Bruno. That's true. Now he's getting a lot of the same from Holyfield, but that right hand... He won't have a hard night, but the Holyfield... Last punch. year, it's that way again. Right hand. Field. Stuns Bo, and Bo comes back fighting this time and lands a right hand on Holyfield's chin. Jackson, you swing out, you take a rest, 
and the cold weather assist that. Once you start, it's hard to bleed in the cold weather. And here comes Holyfield with some of the same muster that he brought before. You notice he more, Holyfield is more hey, George, He's a more natural. He convinced himself, oh, that didn't hurt. As they finish out round seven, up to now, Holyfield has looked much the sharper of the two. And the combinations are coming real easy now. He's still the same 246 pounds. can make a, a, a bad mistake. <laughs> Hard right hand inside by both. To the side of Holyfield's head. Backs him up for a second. You see, you can take an easy ride when you get close to Riddick Bowles because he slapped, he slapped with his right hand. Now, this is a mistake. Get out of the way. Don't sit and assess your damage. And when you're fighting the younger fighters, you can be assured once you... Ball down his nose. And bound to affect the vision in the left eye. And Holyfield... Right hand fast. Another left-right combination by Evander. And three more shots. And Bowles comes back with a hard right. And a good... Fans fell in love with Holyfield last time because of the courage he showed in defeat. His first to fall in love with him because of the courage and the skill he is. There's a hard right hand and Holyfield wobbles. Can Bo follow it up? No, Holyfield is on the move. Guys land two good shot. They keep just... throwing the jab like that for That's the last it. four rounds. Barrett sets up the right hand again. In there again. Out with this guy. Hurt him and get out of the way. Holyfield staying in, becoming a we hadn't seen earlier. Bo is trying to counteract by going below the belt. Another right hand. Left, right. He leans in after he lands that right hand. I don't know. Right into Bo. Double left hook by Bo. Maybe the first time in the fight. Holyfield comes back with two left hooks of his own. And an uppercut. And another flurry to end the round by Evander Holyfield. where Bo may have the advantage. Why Holyfield lays in it. Warriors heart, Warriors. Holyfield is good. Right. Also. Yep. Then a bit of a lull now. Right hand by Holyfield inside, rocks Bo back. But he shouldn't try to go for the knockout. Just land the shot, be content, and start all over again. He gives Bo a chance to come back with an uppercut of his own. Holyfield leaning forward against the major power of Riddick Bo, that uppercut, and knocking Bo's mouthpiece out with a left hook. I think Holyfield senses that he has the fight in his hands and that the champion is on the defensive. And he's going at him. He's not going to give him a chance at a distance. He feels comfortable inside now, George. We just saw the mouthpiece flying out. And what? Chance, holy. In the 10th, 11 round. Yes. If he gets it, he can win this thing. I think Evander Holyfield has just that close range against a guy regarded as a terrific infighter. Bo not quick enough tonight. Now looking more and less his followers a knockout in this fight. Now he is fighting to survive, or so it would seem. Believes in it. Why is that counter right hand? If ever Holyfield has been waiting for that right hand all night. Two seconds to go in the 11th. He got him again. Got him. Conventional wisdom. 105, 104, six rounds to five of Ender Holyfield. But for the first time in 1974, lost it to Witherspoon, Ali, and Patterson as the only four men ever to lose and then regain the heavyweight championship of the world. I think a legend. He's never cruised through a round in his life. He just hit Bo with the biggest right hand of the night. And Riddick came back with one of his own. Yeah, he tried to cruise a little bit. He better try it. This is mouthpiece. The mouthpiece at center ring. Bo comes back with the uppercut, trying to hurt Evander while he has his mouthpiece out. Bill Lane tosses the mouthpiece to Emmanuel Stewart in the corner. Holyfield is protected. Hurt. He's hurt. You're right, George. Riddick's got a huge stance here, and he's going at it with everything he's got. He wins this round. I can't see the judges now. Right hand by Holyfield. 
Holy Field. Stop throwing his tracks. This is Stuart Feet. For the second year in a row, they fought the fight of the year. Bigger in the heart. That right hand that he waited too long. They kept fighting after the bell was. Good right hand again. Bo was waiting, throwing shot. And now, with the crowd still wobbly and shaking off the effects from that stunning event when the parachutist landed on the apron, with the two fighters. And once again, heavyweight champion of the world from Atlanta, Georgia, Evander.